Thank you for either being a part of our delivery team or for our retail partners for assembling our product in the home of a customer. The following video will show you the steps necessary to successfully deliver and assemble the Ease 4.0 adjustable base. Before leaving the warehouse, you will need to complete the pre-delivery checklist. To begin, carefully open the plastic to gain access for inspection using the included checklist. The packing materials should remain in place until safely at the customer's home. To avoid damage, always open the carton while the base is in a flat position. Check to make sure that all of the parts are included. Included parts should be a remote, power cord, six legs, battery backup strap, a mattress retainer bar, connecting strap, and a sink cord. You will need to cut the yellow or orange tie wraps holding the electronics box and the leg box to gain access. Step 1. Place the bed base boxes in a desired location with the bottoms facing up. Remove the binding straps and packing materials, making sure not to puncture the box with any sharp objects. Step 2. Remove the bases from their boxes. Unfold the bases making sure to keep the bottom of the bases facing upwards. Cut and remove all yellow or orange wire ties and discard. Do not attempt to operate the base with any wire ties in place. Step 3. Remove the legs from the boxes and install according to the instructions in the manual. The legs are shipped fully assembled. Alternative heights and 3 inch increments can be achieved by removing the leg segments. To install the legs, thread the leg into the frame and tighten by hand. Do not over tighten. Make sure the legs are assembled tightly prior to installation. The washer shipped with the leg accessories should be used with any height configuration. Step 4. Uncoil the power cord and connect to the power supply. Place the power supply on the ground and extend from the base. Ensure that the power supply and all attached cords are directed toward the desired surge protector. Step 5. It is recommended to leave the battery backup strap attached to the power supply for use when needed. Two 9-volt batteries, which are not included, will be required for its use. Sinking the two bases. A sink cord is included with the base. The sink cord connects the two control boxes to a single remote for the synchronization of two bases. Connect the sink cord to the multifunction port of each control box. Step 6. Carefully flip the base over onto its legs. Important. Two people are required to move the bed base. Do not drag across the floor. Do not rest the frame on its side. Excessive pressure may damage the legs. Using the hardware and tools provided, attach the two halves of the base using instructions from the manual. Make sure hardware is installed properly and tight. Step 1. With the bases in their desired locations, slightly loosen both legs to allow the strap to fit on the leg bolt between the leg washer and frame. Step 2. Slide the side A of the connecting strap onto the leg bolt. Swing the strap and connect side B to the leg bolt. Secure the strap by shifting to the left. Step 3. Retighten the legs. Do not over tighten. Use the remaining strap and repeat on the other end of the base. Step 7. Plug the power cord into a power source. A surge protector is recommended. Step 8. Ensure the batteries are correctly installed in the remote. Quickly test the remote functions to verify proper setup before placing the mattress on the base. Return the base to a flat position before placing the mattress on top. Step 9. To install the mattress retainer bars, insert each end of the bar into the holes at the foot of the platforms. Remote Pairing 
The original remote that comes in the box is already paired to the adjustable base. No further action is required. In the event that the remote is not paired with the base, follow the steps below. Step 1. Remove the rear cover of the remote control by sliding it down to expose the pair button. Unplug the power cord from your power outlet. Wait one minute, then plug it back into your power outlet. Perform step two within 10 seconds while the control box light is flashing. Press and hold the pair button on the back of the remote. The pair button will illuminate and start to flash. When the pair button stops flashing, the LED light on the control box will stop flashing as well. Release the pair button. Test all remote functions. If the remote buttons do not impact the adjustable base movements, please repeat the process again or call customer service. Thanks for watching.